welcome back to my channel my name is Anne. if you don't know me it is great to meet you i hope you're having a wonderful day today um it is just snowy and cold and cloudy and kind of gross outside so i thought that it would be time to do an empties video i also have some products that i'm just kind of getting rid of and like some eyeshadow palettes so we are going to be going through the whole the whole bucket here of products and that will include hair care skincare some makeup um all of those beautiful things and probably like a couple little randoms i think um so yeah i hope that you guys are ready grab a snack and let's just jump into this video <laughs> okay i'm just i'm not gonna go in any particular order um because i did not organize this whatsoever so it's just gonna be kind of random items after another so um be prepared for that i guess <laughs> um so the first item out of the bag is this cremo cremo astonishingly superior moisturizing shave cream in coconut mang magno mango um and this actually was pretty nice um it was a little more expensive than your typical shave cream like i feel like normal shaving cream is about like three bucks this was about five um but it did last me a really really long time um you really don't need a lot of it however i feel like it did kind of um clog up my razor a little bit like i had to like rinse the water out of there a little more than i feel like i normally would have to um so uh, for that reason, I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it, but it does smell so good and it did a really great job of giving me like a really close shave, so maybe? Um, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, let me know if you, what you think if you've tried this, like do you think it like beats all of your other shaving creams or like... I don't know anyway there's that i actually have another shaving cream in here this is the up and up moisturizing shave gel i've talked about this before i think um this is just the up and up brand from target their shaving cream um i've pretty much used this all up i've gone through a couple of these um and it's good um it does a good job of shaving my legs like i don't really have any complaints no like it doesn't give me like razor burn or anything like that or um, any irritation so uh, and it's like two dollars so it's a little cheaper than like the normal shaving creams at Target so not, not bad stuff next I have this bliss makeup next I have this bliss makeup melt dry wet gentle dry oh dry or wet <laughs> gentle jelly cleanser with rose flower I use this all up. It is a pretty gentle um, face cleanser, however, and it does a really good job of like melting off your makeup. However, I don't recommend using this around your eyes just because I do feel like it burned my eyes a little bit. But aside from that, I think it was okay. I mean, I obviously used it all up, so in that case, I don't think that it gave me any irritation or made my skin break out or anything like that. In general, I think Bliss products are not too bad. Um, I want to try more from them, but this is the only thing I've tried so far and um yeah i liked it i don't know if i would re necessarily repurchase it i do want to try some of their other cleansers though next up i have two shampoos and they're both from the brand ogx and i've used up both of them and i've also used up the conditioner that went with them so the first one or the first like line i guess would be this anti-breakage keratin oil shampoo and i like i said i also used up the conditioner i just don't have the bottles i do actually really like this shampoo and i've repurchased it twice now um i think it does a really good job of just kind of giving my hair a little bit of extra strength um it smells really really good like it smells like salon quality like fancy kind of shampoo you know what i mean so uh, for that reason i really really like it um and I feel like the conditioner does a good job of making my hair feel soft and all of that good stuff. <laughs> the conditioner works fine as well. Um, I just usually use a hair mask in place of a conditioner or on top of a conditioner. So I can't really say if the conditioner did the most fantastic job because I just always use a hair mask. So... <laughs> And then the other one is the Hydrate and Marula Oil Shampoo. Um, this one I was kind of... I don't know, I don't feel like it was as hydrating or as gentle on my hair. I feel like this one dried my hair out just a little bit more than the other one for some reason. Um, so for that reason I probably won't be repurchasing this particular line, but the other one I love. And I also really love the Moroccan Oil line from them as well. 
Next up is this Cetaphil Gentle Foaming Cleanser. And I feel like I definitely talked about this in a skincare video or something like that. Um, this is really, really nice. I do feel like for some reason the pump like kind of stops working after a while. Like you have to like press it back up once you're like when you need another pump, you know what I'm saying? Um, so the, for that reason it's kind of stupid, but um, it's a good cleanser. Like it's a really great, very gentle foaming cleanser. If you have sensitive skin or dry skin, this is a great one. Um, just for like daily morning cleansing or whatever you want to use it for. Um, I really liked it. <laughs> this sucked, okay? Like I'm not even halfway gone. I think I'm only like this far down in the bottle. Um, this is the HSI Argan Oil Thermal Protector. I got this on Amazon. I actually talked about this in my really old hair care video, but I didn't show it on camera. So this is what it looks like in case you were wondering or wanting to know. This is garbage, guys. Like, I don't know why I thought this was so great when I first got it. So granted, I can't say if it actually protects my hair from heat, but for some reason, whatever the chemicals are or components that are in this, Whenever I spray this, even if it's just on like my hairbrush, like really, really close, it gets so much into the air and like it completely overtakes your lungs and you cannot breathe for a second. Like, uh, like, I don't know what it is. It just gets everywhere. And like, if you spray it into your hair or on a brush, no matter how close you spray it to your face or like not to your face, to your hair or anything, it just, the smell is so strong and like I have to like leave the room for a second because I start coughing so bad so I don't know what is in this it has decent reviews on Amazon but I just I would not I would not buy this again ever like it's the smell is not a bad smell but it's just it just gets into your whole system and you feel like you can't breathe and I don't think that's a good thing <laughs> so yeah I would not buy this ever again and I would stay away from it honestly um Maybe I'm just extra sensitive to it. I don't know what, to, I don't, I really don't know what's in here, but um, I'm not buying this again. <laughs> I went through a, or well, I guess we went through a whole Dr. Teal's body wash with pure Epsom salt. This is the Relax and Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. We didn't actually use this as a body wash. We used it as a bubble bath and it worked pretty well. Um, it smells really, really good and it's very relaxing. Um, so that's what we used it for, was just to add bubbles into our bathtub, um, but yeah, it smells really good, it's very relaxing, and, um, not a, not a bad, not a bad purchase. <laughs> this was something that my husband used more than me, um, he went through a whole bottle of the St. Ives Soft Skin Avocado and Honey Scrub, um, I did use it a couple times and I liked it, but I've just found that exfoliating my face is not really the best thing that I can do for it. Um, I used to definitely be an exfoliate like every few days type of person and now I'm like <laughs> once a month is fine. <laughs> um, this is just really harsh for my pers for my skin. Um, in general, I don't feel like exfoliating is as necessary as people think it is. I mean, don't come at me, okay, that's just my opinion. Um, but I have really sensitive skin that cannot take a lot of harshness, so I personally didn't really use this, but he seemed to like it, so there's that. <laughs> well, this I'm pretty sure is expired. <laughs> this is a BH Cosmetics. This is their liquid foundation. Um, I don't know what the shade is. Um, it's like one of, I think it's like the second lightest shade or something. Um, I feel like I did actually, I haven't used this in so long, but I feel like I liked it when I first got it. Um, but then it kind of like the more I used it um, as time went on I feel like it just started looking more and more makeup-y on me. Maybe it's just um, The product starting to kind of wear down or whatever But I just feel like over the course of the day it would kind of break apart on my face And I feel like it didn't used to do that when I first got it. So maybe it was the primer I was using I'm not really sure but um, I don't know that I would purchase it again because it's just such a thick foundation and I'm not really um, into that anymore. It's super duper full coverage um, So if you like that then maybe check it out, but it's like it's so thick and it's so Tacky, but it's like not a dewy foundation. So I don't know how to, else to explain it. It kind of The last time I used it, it kind of just felt like I was dabbing glue on my face. So I don't know. It's not the best. It's not my favorite consistency for a foundation um 
try it out if you want it. Um, I would say maybe just try to use something with it, like a face lotion to like sheer it out. That's what I would probably do if I tried it again, um, but I'm probably not gonna buy this again, at least for a long time. We used up a whole <laughs> stinking bottle of the OGX Radiant Glow Argan Oil of Morocco Lotion. This does smell really, really good. It smells exactly like their shampoos if you've ever smelled those. Um, however, this lotion takes like 10 million years to massage into your skin because it's one of those lotions that is it just leaves that like white cast on your skin and like those streaks and like you have to like rub for forever and ever and then if you rub too much it starts to like pill up and it's so gross <laughs> um so if you don't mind leaving white streaks on your arms i guess like this is fine um but i'm probably not going to purchase it again for the reason of it pilling up it smells great it moisturized fine um but the pilling up thing was just really annoying so <laughs> so it's kind of chilly in this room hence the two jackets and also I never wear anything colorful in my videos so I figured that this was decently colorful enough I got this at H&M forever ago in case anybody was wondering <laughs> and I think I also got this hoodie at H&M like not that long ago and this is also from H&M <laughs> wow just a whole freaking outfit <laughs> I am getting rid of my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, not because it's necessarily a bad powder, but it's just, it's really, for me, for my skin anyway, it's just really drying. Like, I can't set my under eyes even with the tiniest amount of this without them looking really dry and feeling really dry. It might be okay for baking. I think I have used it once or twice, but I honestly don't really bake my face very much. So, and I have other powders that I would rather use instead of this. So, for that reason, I'm giving this away, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad powder. It's just not great for my dry skin. <laughs> and I did actually have the conditioner for this. And, um, like I said, this just didn't really do it for me. It was not nearly as hydrating as I need it to be. I have pretty dry hair, um, and I also live in a very dry state with a very dry climate, <laughs> so I need all of the moisture that I can get, so this was just not cutting it for my hair. I did use it, and my husband used it just to use it up, um, but I put a hair mask on top of this, so um, I think one time I used it by itself, and it just, it just did not didn't take the cake for me, you know what I'm saying? We went through one whole crust 3D white Arctic Fresh toothpaste. Um, this was fine. Um, this is actually the only toothpaste we use pretty much. Um, I really like it. I feel like it's the only toothpaste that I've really liked and I feel like it actually keeps my teeth decently white. <laughs> with all of the coffee that I drink, um, which is a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I do actually pretty, really, ooh, there's actually some in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, did I seriously throw this in there? And there, there is so much toothpaste left in here, what the heck? <laughs> but yeah, I do like this toothpaste. I think it does a decent job of keeping the stains at bay, um, and it tastes fine. I like the consistency of it for toothpaste. Um, there's not a whole lot of else to talk about. It's toothpaste, so. But I'm keeping this because there is so much toothpaste left in here and I did not know that, so waste not. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this Prisma Glow. Um, this is from Essence, I think. It's an Essence lip gloss um, in the shade 02 Smile, Spark Smile Sparkle Shine. It's just, it's a little too light for my lips, I think, and also it's just super glittery. Like, it kind of has a smell to it and it's not a bad smell but it's just I don't know what it is it just it's a gloss that's for somebody a little younger than me you know what I'm saying and also I feel like the glitters in it like you can kind of feel them on your lips and then later in the day I notice my lips feeling a lot more chapped and I think it has to do with this um it is a pretty lip topper on top of like a nude lip um but it's just something that I haven't been using so uh, for that reason I am tossing it I used up, um, or I'm not, I didn't use up, but I'm getting rid of this e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Pink Kiss, and I did really, really like this and enjoy it for a while. Um, however, for it being a lip oil, I just don't feel like it was as moisturizing as I needed it to be, and for some reason, the applicator just doesn't get every part of my lips, so it just, 
kind of like smears it on and then like there's weird lines that you can tell like where it kind of separated and didn't like reach all of my lip if that makes sense so i have to like buff it out with my finger kind of which isn't a big deal um but i just find myself not using it anymore um but it wasn't bad honestly like it was fine um i just wish that it had been a little more moisturizing and had a little bit more staying power oh my god this is gonna take me so long. <laughs> this is a three pump white mocha in case anybody cared. <laughs> okay, next we used up the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion, um, which uh, it was okay. Um, I was fine with it. it. We mostly just used it because we ran out of face moisturizer and this was just really cheap. Um, I thought it was fine, honestly. It's we just used this for our for our face. Um, it wasn't like the most moisturizing or anything, but it was fine as like a daily moisturizer. Um, it has actually a lot of really good reviews, so maybe check it out if you're looking for something. It was really cheap just for this bottle, which was two and a half ounces. Um, and it like it was fine, I guess. <laughs> we didn't really think that it was anything special. Both, both my husband and I used it and he didn't like it quite as much as I did. Like he really didn't want me to repurchase it when I asked him about it. Um, and I don't really know that I would repurchase it unless I was just like in a pinch, but I do think that it worked fine. <laughs> These are the Formula 1006 Wipe Your Face Off Makeup Removing Facial Wipes. And I've gone through, I think this is the first one that I've gone through, but I have two more packs now because I love these so much. They get off all of my makeup so well. They're a little bit more wet than the Wet n Wild ones, which is ironic. <laughs> They're really great. They're pretty affordable. Um, if you get them at Ulta, like there's almost always a sale going on or there's that 350 off purchase coupon that you can get. So um, not a bad deal, honestly. I've been really, really loving these. They don't break my face out. My face doesn't feel irritated. My eyes don't burn with these. It's just, they're just so heavenly and I never hear anybody talking about them and they should because they are the best. So check them out. I highly recommend them. <laughs> I went through two of these uh, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Masks and I hate that BoxyCharm sent these to me because I love them so much and I know that they're not cheap and I know that I'm probably never gonna buy them because they are expensive. I think, I actually don't know how much they are, but anyway, these are really, really great. I understand the whole Tatcha trend now or like fad. Um, they're really, really good. They left my skin feeling so hydrated and dewy and plump and fresh and just everything that I wanted them to be, it to be like this face mask delivered for sure. So maybe I will try and buy more in the future. I'm not really sure. Uh, like I said, I got these in a boxy charm, so like, they were probably way more, way cheaper than, well, I don't, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna look it up. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, they're 12 bucks each, which on Sephora, which is pretty expensive. Um, not the worst. I'm sure there's more expensive out there, but for one use, it's kind of a lot. Uh, so anyway, yeah, went through two of these. I don't know where the other one went or why I didn't put it in the here, but whatever. Um, really loved them. I literally squeezed every drop out of this bag and like put it everywhere so yeah boxy charm please send me more because i'm poor this is one of my most favorite hand soaps lately it's the Ev everyone for everybody hand soap um it's the meyer lemon and mandarin if you like the smell of like lemon essential oils then you will really like this because it smells like actual lemon and not just some sort of like knockoff lemon <laughs> it just it smells really great it cleans my hands just fine um literally no complaints it's a hand soap i just buy this one in particular because it just smells really great and i love it this was um gifted to me by somebody for christmas this is the spiced gingerbread swirl ultra shea she bought shea butter body cream uh, from Bath and Body Works. Um, I don't even know if you can get this anymore because it was probably just a Christmas thing. I'm just getting rid of it because like it's just I have so many of these little kind of hand lotions and it's not that it doesn't smell bad but it's February now and I just know that I'm never really going to use this any other time of the year except around Christmas and by that time I'm probably going to be gifted another one so um, it does smell pretty good. It just, it makes you smell like a Christmas cookie essentially. So, 
Um, not a bad smell, but I'm just not really feeling like holding on to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This I didn't go through, but this is an EOS hand lotion. It's the cherry blossom one, I think. I don't know if this one is just expired or what, but like it's yellow inside. <laughs> like that's straight up yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really yellow. It works fine, but like I really don't like the smell of it. I have the purple one and that one smells so great and I keep that in my bag all the time. This one just, I don't know why, it being yellow just really throws me off and also the smell, I'm just, again, just not the biggest fan. Um, so for that reason, I am getting rid of it. This was trash. I don't know how to explain it to you guys better than that, but this was trash. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I'm sorry if that if you like this brand. I'm not, I haven't tried anything else from this brand, so keep that in mind when I just say that I just didn't like this particular product. This is the Smith & Colt, the shade Love Sucker. It's their flat lip cream. I don't know how to, how to explain it. I did talk about this on my Instagram um, when I was talking about BoxyCharm. If any of you guys saw that, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna put it on for this video because I'm feeling cute right now, so. But it's just this bright pink matte kind of lip color. It's so obnoxiously bright. <laughs> I'm not saying that this color couldn't work. It's just that in this formula, for some reason, it just looks so bad on me. Like the, it just accentuates like every part of my lips and it makes them look so dry and awful. Even with a lip gloss on top, it was, it just like spreads kind of, but it's supposed to be a matte flat thing. So I don't, I'm not really sure what exactly this is, how you're supposed to use it. I tried just applying it like a very light layer with my finger, that didn't work. I tried doing multiple coats, that didn't work. You can't build it up and you can't use a thin layer, so I don't know how you're supposed to use this, but I'm getting rid of it because I'm never gonna use it and that is that. And I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna think about it any longer. <laughs> I went through a e.l.f. eyebrow gel in the shade medium brown. Um, I didn't actually go through it. I'm getting rid of it because it smells really bad now. Like, it smells so bad, like really chemically and awful. I don't recall if it smelled like that when I first bought it, um, but it's, oh, it's so bad, you guys. Um, this actually did work pretty well though. Like it has a very, very thin little like wand. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's gonna focus, probably not, but. Anyway, it has a really, really thin little wand, which is great for grabbing at all your little brow hairs. Um, and it adds like an, it dispenses a nice amount of pigment and everything, but the smell of this, like what is going on? It's just, it's so bad. <laughs> um, and for that reason, I'm not keeping it cause I just don't want to put something that smells that bad on my face or definitely not near my eyes. So yeah. I am so sad about this, you guys. <laughs> I tried to make this work so many times. This was the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I know that some people are obsessed with this and I just, I just can't get it to work for me. I've tried it so many times. I've tried applying it in different ways. I've tried everything that I can think of on how you would use a primer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just breaks my apart my makeup so much, like so much. I apply it, you know, just I'd apply it just to my nose, just to my pores areas, and no matter what I do, my makeup just breaks up around those areas with this primer underneath. And it's never does that before. It's not the makeup, because I've used that makeup before. It's always this primer. Like whenever I use this primer, it makes my skin look so smooth and beautiful. But then I put makeup on top and like throughout the course of the day, I just notice my nose and like my pores just looking so awful. And I'm like, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> and like, ugh. It just makes me so sad because I've always wanted to try Cover FX stuff. And I got this one in a BoxyCharm too, so it's like, I didn't even pay full price, which was amazing. Um, and like when you use it, it's so soft and so smoothing and just wonderful feeling, but I don't know. I don't know, man, like it just doesn't work for me and I'm sad to say that, but I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> We went through a hand and body lotion from the brand Smartly. This is kind of a new brand to Target. I think it's like 
one of their brands like kind of like up and up just a more affordable option um in the scent smells like summertime I don't know it's pretty cheap packaging um what but whatever anyway it's a body lotion it worked fine for what we needed it for just like out of the shower or whatever the smell isn't bad um it's just it's really nothing special so i don't know if i'm gonna repurchase it we got another body lotion that smells so much better <laughs> not necessarily like because this one smelled bad it smells fine i don't know how to explain it it just smells i don't know it kind of smells like fruity gum almost, <laughs> but not like in a disgusting way. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this, but it wasn't a bad purchase. Like I don't regret it, but I don't know. With body lotions, it's kind of just like, I want to buy a new one, but I want to use this one up. So that's kind of how it was with this one. Like it wasn't bad enough for me to stop using it entirely, but I kind of got bored of the scent and like it wasn't super moisturizing. So I was like, I'm just, I'm just bored and I want another... <laughs> I know, I'm on a different one. <laughs> I have three eyeliners from NYX to talk about. The first one is the, the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This one is super busted. <laughs> this is a great liquid liner. I really, really like it. It's great for doing winged liner. Um, it's probably my favorite, honestly, um, as far as drugstore liquid liners go. Although, I haven't even tried any high-end ones, so I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I used up a whole one of these. This one's super busted because I used it for um, my Halloween skull makeup look, which had white face paint. So I, there's white face paint and all sorts of gross stuff in here. So that's the main reason it got really busted. Um, but I do really like this liner. Next, um, this is the NYX gel pencil liner, the Très Jolie gel pencil liner um, in the shade Pitch Black. And I used to love this and I used to use it all the time for lining, for tight lining and now I don't use it anymore whatsoever. I find that it's so difficult to put on, not because it's an old one, but it's just in comparison to my Jordana um, 24 hour pencil, this one is just kind of garbage and it's so much more expensive. My Jordana one is like three bucks. And like, I don't know, it just, it's kind of dry feeling and like it's, it takes a lot of layering to get it to the pigment that you want it so um i don't know i feel like they're kind of hit and miss too like some of them go on really great and really creamy and then other ones you just are like sitting there like scratching your eyeball out so um i don't know that i'm gonna ever repurchase this but it was good while i needed it before i found my jordana one so this is the nyx slide on glide on definitely stay 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 on and definitely a, definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. Oh my gosh. This eyeliner is so good. The name had to be this long. Okay, oh, NYX, you need to calm down. <laughs> this was okay. Like I said, the main reason I buy um, black pencil liners is for my tight line. And if it transfers, I get rid of it. Like. I don't even care. I'm not gonna use it for anything else. If I use a black liner on my top, on my lid, it's going to be for, it's probably gonna be a liquid black liner. Like, let's just be real. <laughs> um, so this one transferred um, and I'm not going to use it. So I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> it would probably be fine if I used it on my bottom line as well, but I just don't do that. At least I do it very, very frequently. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just not gonna keep this one around. Probably should stop drinking coffee and actually drink water, but nope. This is an eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Last eyeliner in the shade Black Noir. I think I don't know. It's super like worn out, but um, again, this is just one of those eyeliners that just smudges like crazy on me. Um. Not saying it's necessarily bad, but I'm just never gonna use it. So, um, it was just sitting in my drawer for like months. And when I was cleaning everything out, I was like, I don't remember even purchasing you. So, yeah, not holding on to it. Nope. <laughs> my husband and I went through a whole little container of the Teatrical Facial Cream Stem Cells Moisturizer. And this is really affordable. You can get it at Walgreens. That's the only place I've ever seen this. Um, we actually really liked it. It was really moisturizing, um, kind of like a Pond's cold cream consistency, but you just 
obviously just leave it on your skin as a moisturizer. Um, I think it was great. It was pretty moisturizing. We both liked it just fine. Um, so yeah, I think I probably would repurchase this, but for now, our moisturizer that we're using is fine. So yeah. <laughs> This is a perfume from the brand Pacifica, and I have talked about this before, I think. Um, it's a perfume, I said that already, in the scent Island Vanilla, and I feel like it doesn't smell the same, <laughs> which is why I'm getting rid of it. It has more of a chemical-y smell to it, and I'm not really sure why, and also I don't remember, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of has like this weird tan color now, and you can kind of see like weird little like floaty, separating, not like floaties, but like it looks cloudy in there and I don't know why and I don't remember it being this way and also it just, it smells more chemically so I don't know what happened to it but I'm getting rid of it because it just doesn't smell great to me anymore. I did like it when it did smell good um, but I don't know what happened but anyway, I'm getting rid of it <laughs> so bye. I forgot, um, this is another eyeliner. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. As you can see, I have run this one dry. I do really love this eyeliner as well. Um, it's really, really easy to use. It has a little felt tip liner. Um, yeah, this is completely dried out. <laughs> but it does give a very nice, solid black line, and it's pretty easy to do a wing with this. Um, so yeah, I think I would probably repurchase this if I, when I need a new black eyeliner. <laughs> That was a brain fart, oh my gosh. This is a Star Looks eyeliner in the shade Aurora Ultra Gem Longwear Eyeliner Eye Pencil. So I got this in a BoxyCharm and like, I don't know, last month's BoxyCharm was just a bust for me, <laughs> aside from the Tatcha masks, honestly. Like, it's this just this pink shimmery eyeliner and it's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, it just broke. And now it's in my sleeve. Get out. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know where that went, but um, it's this really pretty shimmery pink eyeliner, which I thought was going to be great and like very useful, but it wouldn't go on my eyeballs or anywhere <laughs> that I tried to put it like waterline, under my waterline, like I, like eyelid, like it just wouldn't go on. Like it's super scratchy and like, not scratchy, but like it just is like dried out and you have to like really like scrub kind of like the same thing with the NYX Trejo Lee liner um I don't know what it was it just it just didn't work out for me um so for that reason I am giving it away <laughs> or throwing it out because nobody wants a used eyeliner I am getting rid of this EOS lip balm I think it's in the shade or not shade I think it's in the scent pomegranate or flavor something like that. Um, I actually have barely used this. Um, I find that with EOS lip balms, I just, they just don't moisturize my lips. They're kind of like one of those lip balms where you put them on and then 10 minutes later you put them on again just because it feels nice in the moment, but they don't give me any lasting moisture. Um, and I was reading an article about like actually good products inside of lip balms that are like good for you and good for your lips and more hydrating. And EOS is just really not um, in that line. Um, I'm getting rid of this Halu Unicorn Beach Unicorn Foam Lotion um, for the reason that it's just like... Like look at how fun that is though. Like this is the reason I bought it because it expands. It's like a shaving cream, but it's a lotion. And like, I know that these are becoming more and more, I don't, I just realized I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. <laughs> it's a basically just a foam lotion. Um, it does smell not too bad, honestly, but I'm just, I just don't use it. Like it's not moisturizing enough for me. I'm not sure if it's moisturizing at all or if I just think that it is kind of thing. Like I, it's really hard to tell because it's a foam. Um, so it's really freaking fun though. Like <laughs> if I was like 14, this would be my jam. It's really fun to play with, I'm not gonna lie. Like, do you ever do you guys ever just play with a shaving cream? Because that's essentially what this is. Ooh, that would be super fun to like put into like slime though. I've always wanted to make slime and I feel like that could work really, really well. Oh, and it would smell so good. Oh my gosh, I need I 
<laughs> I have ideas, <laughs> but it's just it's just something that like at this point in my life, I'm not saying that I would never buy something like this again, but right now it's just not moisturizing enough and it's winter time and um, I just noticed that I never was reaching for it, so I am getting rid of it. I went through a whole bottle of this Bella Jade Botanicals Makeup Setting Spray. Um, you can get this on Amazon. I'm not sure how great it was at making my makeup stay in place throughout the day, like it's staying power, but it did do a really good job of just melting all my products together. The mister is not fantastic. Um, it does kind of leave some little water droplets, which you kind of have to like bounce into your skin really quick with your sponge or whatever. Um, but I think it was fine. Um, it has decent ingredients in it, um, like mostly just like plant-based ingredients. So for that reason, I don't think that it is a bad product whatsoever. Um, I'm not sure that I would repurchase it. Right now I have the Morphe setting spray and it is just, uh, I hate to jump on like, the Morphe bandwagon because I don't really buy from Morphe but that setting spray is actually so good and my sister-in-law bought it for me because she really likes hers so um the Morphe setting spray is great you guys like that's all I gotta say it's just it's just great but yeah I don't know um I might repurchase this sometime in the future um not for now just because I have a setting spray that I like that works fine um but there's the scoop on this. <laughs> oh, Neutrogena. Old Neutrogena. <laughs> Sounds like a weird, like, song. Neutrogena. Old Neutrogena. You done me bad, girl. You really done me bad, girl. Oh, Neutrogena. What did I do to ya to deserve this mess on my face? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The Neutrogena uh, Clear Pore Cleanser slash Mask. Um, I didn't even use, I'm maybe halfway through with this. Um, what can I say? I'm just, I'm done with Neutrogena, you guys. I'm not, <laughs> boycott Neutrogena. <laughs> no, um, if you like Neutrogena and it works for you, that's fine. I just found that like this, it's been a long skincare journey for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I still have acne, I still get acne, and I still get scarring. Um, but the thing is, I feel like with Neutrogena products, at least for me, they work great for maybe two weeks and then they just stop working and my skin is just more dry, more red, more inflamed. I get acne again right after that two weeks or whatever. And like, I don't know, I think it's a marketing scheme, okay? Like, I think that they really, I know that it is because I know that brands do this where they just market products, they work for a very short amount of time, and then they stop working for people, and then the people feel like, oh, well, maybe I should try a different product from them because that first product worked so great. Like, I do believe that that is a thing. Um, <laughs> conspiracy theory? I don't know, but <laughs> I'm Shane Dawson. <laughs> No, but I don't know like I just I'm not using Neutrogena anymore. I'm not really using any acne cleansers actually I'm just using gentle skincare products and using a lot of moisturizers and oils that are good for my skin and like Things like that if you want a skincare routine I will be happy to give you one or just the things that I'm using um, But I'm not going to be purchasing anything along these lines again <laughs> like Cetaphil is different because like they're all just about you know gentle sensitive skin stuff like that um but as far as like big corporation brands that are targeted towards clearing your acne like Clearasil, Neutrogena things like that I'm just staying away I'm not going to be wasting my money with them because I know that they just don't work for me so anyway <laughs> that's my 10,000 cents on that and I'm getting rid of this product Bye <laughs> This is I'm sorry mom if you're watching this video <laughs> This is a body Bar <laughs> um, It's not a body lotion. It's a body bar. Oh. oh my god It literally rolled like 10 feet across the room Um, so essentially what this is it's it's just like a solidified like body bar so you just kind of like rub it on your hands or on your arm a little bit 
and then you rub it in and it's supposed to deliver moisture. I do like this concept. Um, it's great for like traveling, of course, but the scent of this just, I don't know. It smells like a really, really sweet white chocolate and I just don't like it for that reason. So maybe I'll see if um, my sister wants it or something, I don't know. Um, because I haven't even used it just because of the scent. It's just not something that I'm into. So I don't even know where this is from, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just not holding on to it. This is the Dermovia Lace Appeal Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel Off Mask. Again, this is one of those things that I got in a boxy charm. It came with this really neat um, black lace mask that you put over this mask. So you put this on and then you put the lace on and it's like, it was the prettiest, <laughs> coolest mask that I've ever used. And it sucked the crap out of my pores, dude. <laughs> like it was intense um, and it kind of hurt, <laughs> but it was really great actually. And if I had another lace mask, I would probably hold on to this. But I do think that it was a bit intense. Like I would probably just use this on like my nose or something next time. Um, just because the rest of my face doesn't really like need something like that. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm getting rid of it, but I don't think that it was necessarily a bad product. Um, and also I don't think that there's enough in here to do enough and I don't have any lace left. So you get the idea, I'm, get I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> The last three things that I'm getting rid of are eyeshadow palettes, and I just wanted to save these for last just because that way it wouldn't be all like super mixed up. Um, all of these I actually got in a BoxyCharm, <laughs> and I feel like kind of guilty a little bit about giving these all away or throwing them away. I, I don't know, I'll see if anybody wants them, but it's like, they're just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, anyway, the first one is from Ace Beauty, Beaut, Beauty? And it just looks like this on the inside. I do wish it had a mirror. Like, I just don't understand why palettes can't come with mirrors now. Um, but anyway, it looks like this. I do actually really like the colors in here. The main reason I'm getting rid of most of these palettes is because I have colors almost identical to them in different palettes. Um, so anyway, I did use this a couple times. I did like it. Um, the color story is really simple and like easy to use, easy to follow. You can create decent eye looks with this. Um, but again, like I just have so many eyeshadow palettes and this is just something that I don't necessarily need and I can find these colors in other palettes. Oh my God, I'm so thirsty. And my coffee has chunks in it at the bottom. <laughs> Next up is this pure midnight masquerade face palette and it looks like this on the inside and the mirror is really tiny like i don't know how i would use this <laughs> um i did use this a couple times i do really like the green in it i think that's like the only shade i really used though um the highlight is actually not bad um it's just not as intense <laughs> as i like it to be <laughs> but it's definitely not bad it's 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 pretty um the blushes i don't know like this one is so bright and like, I do like a nice bright blush, but this one is just so, so bright. <laughs> um, and then these two, like I just can't really use, like maybe as an eyeshadow, but then they have shimmer, so I can't really use them as mattes, but they're not intense enough to put on my eyelid, you know what I'm saying? And then the rest of the colors, I just don't really use. Um, and if I need to use something like this, I'm sure I could find something, a shade similar in a different palette. Ow. And this one is also, oh, I found that little nub of, I found that little piece of um, eyeliner. <laughs> the last one is from uh, also a BoxyCharm and Pure Collaboration. I don't know if you can buy this anymore, um, but anyway, it looks like this. Um, I don't know what it is. I feel like the packaging on some of the Pure palettes are just not the best, honestly. Like. I don't know, for it being like a more high-end brand, like it's just kinda flimsy, um, but it is it is what it is. So anyway, um, I did actually use this palette pretty consistently for a little while. It has all of these nice peachy shades in them and it didn't have this pop of blue in here though. I feel like it would just not really make it as exciting as it looks <laughs> um, because I kinda realized like if you take the blue out and maybe like, maybe this like purple shade right here, like it just looks a lot more basic. 
Um, and I kind of just realized that and I realized like again for the thousandth time <laughs> I have these shades in other palettes that I can just reach for um, The blendability of these were actually great and fine um, Just not something that I'm gonna probably be reaching for again just because I Just reach for other palettes that I like better that have more or less the similar shades not necessarily the super peachy tones but i don't necessarily wear peaches all the time so uh not really the end of the world for me to get rid of this palette i think my voice is officially dying <laughs> um anyway that completes this empties haul um slash declutter i really hope that you guys enjoyed um, let me know what some of your products are that maybe you're getting rid of or that you hate. Um, I would love to know. <laughs> Hopefully this video was helpful for you in some way. Um, please leave a comment down below uh, letting me know what kind of video you'd like to see from me next. I know it's been a while since I have come on here and filmed, so hopefully this will satisfy your needs or something <laughs> for a little while. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!